Hello. Just gonna give a little commentary here. Uh, the reason why you change the factory fill oil in a Chinese scooter out uh, before driving it. You know, a lot of people just, uh, a lot of dealerships just throw some gas in the bikes and um, start them up and uh, if it runs, sell it to your consumer. We do not do that. We drain the oil first and put in good old American oil, much higher quality stuff. Reason number one, this is off of a brand new bike. Reason number one, now the oil they use from factory fill is pretty much just a placeholder. It's an emergency in case you get someone that starts the bike brand new before ever checking for oil. So you don't run the brand new bike without anything in there whatsoever. Uh, that's reason number one you change it. Reason number two, uh, these bikes require eight tenths of a quart of oil. Just drain this out. Let's try. Sorry for the bad views here. I'm doing the best I can. We're at just uh, about 23 ounces of oil in here. Uh, for that's what was drained out of the brand new bike. If it had the proper qual uh, quantity of oil, instead of being right there, it would be just to the top of this cutting. Actually, I thought this thing was going to overflow, actually. Um, it's the only thing I had that was small enough to fit under the drain plug. That's reason number two. Reason number three. The oil is piss poor quality. Number one, it's like, you know, piss poor quality reason number one is it's very liquidy. These bikes require a minimum, absolute minimum of 10W30. I usually put in 1030 or 1040 because it's Wisconsin's a little cooler. 1540 for those hotter states like Florida, Nevada, Georgia, Texas, etc., etc. Quality problem number two. It's just very poorly refined and it's some weird stuff. I have never seen, it's hard to see on the camera, but I have never seen an iridescent oil before. This stuff is UV reactive. You put a black light over it, at least some of them, and it lights up. Kind of see it with the uh, LED from the uh, camera. There you have it.